Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is People Eater. Today, I thought I'd do something a little different than a template. I thought I'd teach you how to make your own. And we're going to start off the basics with keyframing in terms of animation. So you want to make a composition, 506 by 506 is a standard for artwork, so we'll do that. And we're going to make a layer solid, um, we'll make it white. Uh, we'll make it 100 by 5 and it'll give us a lovely white line to work with. You can use this, you can press S for scale. Um, uh, this links them so that they resize together, we don't want that. We want this one to be, uh, we want this one to be 100. We'll make that just a little bit wider, just do it from eye if you want. Um, and we'll just move it over here. So say, if we want to get this from up here to down here, what we're going to do is we're going to press P for position. And the stopwatch here is a time vary stopwatch. So basically it changes property over time. So if we move to two seconds in, we'll click in the stopwatch and you can see it puts a diamond here. Now that's what we call a keyframe. So we'll move to three seconds and we'll move this down here. As you can see, it auto syncs it up for us. And what that does is it puts in another diamond um, automatically. So now when we press play, it moves it for us. Now, let's just move this back here. So that doesn't look that good. So there's a thing you can do called a graph editor. We're going to click the graph editor, click on the position, and you can see we've got this graph. Now it's going to move at 400 pixels a second, and it's roughly a second, and you can tell it moves at 400 pixels because it's moving that fast. Uh, so we're just going to click on this. Uh, we can just highlight the whole thing. I'm going to come down here and we're going to click Easy Ease. And you can see that makes it sort of an arc shape. And now if we play this again, you can see it sort of has more motion to it in terms of it starts off slow, goes fast, and then slows back down. And you can add more in by changing the influence to about 60%. What we can do to make it perfect, just scroll in using Control alt scroll and middle mouse button. Brings up the hand so that you can pan around. I'm going to set this to, say, 72. Uh, 72 there. We'll press play. Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit. Oop. Go back here. You can see that looks good. Now say if we want it to stay down here, but then two seconds in we want it to go back up. We can't just go to, say we want it to be, we want it to, two seconds we want it to be here, and then three seconds we want it to go back up. As you can see, that doesn't work because it goes up from here. So what we need to do is we need to go to two seconds in. If we click this diamond, it'll add in a keyframe automatically, and that just keeps it down here for a while. And then we can move this wherever we need it to go. And you can use this to change the path of it. And then if we go back here, you can see. There we go. So that's our little animation that we've created. That's the basics of keyframing, and it's the majority of what I've used to create the animations in my designs. Um, it's probably the one. Of, there's there's some other stuff you can do with um, expressions, but I might do that later. Um, you could write your own expression if you. Oops. If you Alt press the stopwatch, it comes up with. Uh, stuff you can type in and that's written in some coding language I'm not familiar with but there are a few things you can type in that create like cool expressions like wobbling and stuff it's a little bit more advanced so I wouldn't worry about it yet I might cover it in a later video so that's the basics of keyframing um, you can also do it with text so say if we write, we'll just write text um, we'll go a minute in uh, press P Press the stopwatch, get two seconds in, and drag it down here. As you can see, that's, you know, it's just playing around with it. You can make your own stuff happen, blah, blah, blah. That's the very basics of it. 
um, just wanted to make a video like sort of so that you guys can make your own um, and get better equated with After Effects if you want to get into it. Um, it's a really handy program. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Make sure you've got replies on. Some comments I can't reply to for some reason. I think it's Google Plus settings. If you need, if you want anything explained in a video, feel free to leave a comment and I'll um, hopefully get around to it. Uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a dislike if you didn't, and uh, tell me why, what I can do better. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. My name's People Eater, and I'll see you in the next video.